More than 45,500 years ago, perched on a ledge at the back of an Indonesian cave, an artist was at work. The research team behind the find suspect a modern human was responsible for the rock art, which may be the world's oldest known example of an illustration depicting real and recognizable objects. While the dating technique used put a minimum age on the paintings of 45,500 years, they could be much older. A funerary temple belonging to Queen Nirit has been discovered in the ancient Egyptian burial ground Saqqara next to the pyramid of her husband Pharaoh Titi, who ruled Egypt from around 2323 BC to 2291 BC. One of the most fascinating objects found in the burial shafts is a 13-foot papyrus that contains chapter 17 of the Book of the Dead, a manuscript that ancient Egyptians used to help guide the deceased through the afterlife. A massive cursus monument that was built around the same time as Stonehenge has been discovered on the Scottish Isle of Arran. Cursus monuments, which were constructed during the Neolithic period, which was between 4000 BC and 2500 BC, are long rectangular earthwork enclosures. The long enclosures were often outlined by timber posts and were used for ceremonial processions, possibly to honor the dead or worship ancestors. A new study combining DNA data from ancient dogs and humans has determined sometime toward the end of the last ice age, a group of humans in northeastern Siberia utilized wolf-like creatures, more docile than their ancestors, to hunt down prey and drag it back to camp. These were the world's first dogs. The new study aims to end years of debate about where and when dogs were domesticated. A new study has found that opposable thumbs evolved around 2 million years ago, and there's evidence of human ancestors making some stone tools before that. In recent years, Australopithecines, a genus of early hominins, have emerged as possibly the earliest humans with indirect evidence of tool use between 2 and 3 million years ago. The new research suggests their thumbs at this time were more similar to those of chimps than to ours. The oldest evidence of land fungus may be a microfossil that's 635 million years old, found in a cave in southern China. Too small to be seen with the naked eye, this remarkable find pushes back the appearance of terrestrial fungus by about 240 million years to a period known as Snowball Earth, when the planet was locked in ice from 750 to 580 million years ago. The presence of land fungus at this critical point may have helped Earth to transition from an ice ball to a planet with a variety of ecosystems that could host diverse life forms. A recent discovery has uncovered evidence of what may be the earliest known use of symbols. The symbols were found on a bone fragment in central Israel and are believed to be approximately 120,000 years old. Remarkably, the fragment remained largely intact, and the researchers were able to detect six similar etchings on one side of the bone, leading them to believe that they were in the possession of something of which held symbolic or spiritual importance. Archaeologists have unearthed 2,000-year-old mummies with golden tongues placed inside their mouth in northern Egypt, the antiquities minister says. A team discovered 16 burials in rock-cut tombs popular in the Greek and Roman eras. It is thought the dead were given gold foil amulets shaped like tongues so that they could speak before the court of the god Osiris in the afterlife. Ancient Egyptians believed that Osiris was lord of the underworld and judge of the dead. Archaeologists have discovered what could be the oldest known beer factory at Abydos. The factory apparently dates back to the time of King Narmer, who is widely known for his unification of ancient Egypt at the beginning of the First Dynastic Period between 3150 and 2613 BC. 
archaeologists found eight huge units. Each is about 65 feet long and 8 feet wide. Each unit includes about 40 pottery basins in two rows, which were used to heat a mixture of grains and water to produce beer. For over a century, archaeological excavations in the Levant have produced human fossils and stone tool assemblages that reveal landscapes inhabited by both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Distinguishing these populations by stone tool assemblages alone is difficult, but one technology, the distinct Nubian level lowest method, is argued to have been produced only by Homo sapiens. The findings of the new study extend the southernmost known range of the Neanderthals and suggest that our now extinct relatives also made use of the Nubian level lowest technology. Researchers have discovered organic molecules trapped in incredibly ancient rock formations in Australia, revealing what they say is the first detailed evidence of early chemical ingredients that could have underpinned Earth's primeval microbial life forms. The discovery, made in the 3.5 billion year old dresser formation of Western Australia's Pilbara Creighton, adds to a significant body of research pointing to ancient life in this part of the world which represents one of only two pristine exposed deposits of land on Earth dating back to the Archean Eon. A new study examined the skeletal remains of Artipithecus ramdus, dated to 4.4 million years old and found in Ethiopia. One of Arti's hands was exceptionally well preserved. The study found evidence for a big evolutionary jump between this kind of hand represented by Artie and all later hominin hands. The evolutionary jump happened at a critical time when hominins were evolving adaptations to a more human-like form of upright walking. Since Artie is such an ancient species, it might retain skeletal features that were present in the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees. If this is true, it could help researchers place the origin of human lineage, in addition to upright walking, into a clearer light. Scientists have identified the earliest primate fossils, tiny ancient teeth from a rat-sized creature that suggest our ancient ancestors once lived alongside the dinosaurs. The teeth are 0.08 inches long and are from the oldest group of primates, known as plesiadapiforms. These early primates represent life beginning to recover after the giant asteroid slammed into Earth at the end of the Cretaceous period about 66 million years ago. The researchers dated the fossils to between 105,000 and 139,000 years after the extinction event, but these creatures likely evolved from an unknown ancestor primate that lived alongside the dinosaurs, the researchers said. Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered the oldest pet cemetery on record, a nearly 2,000-year-old burial ground filled with well-loved animals including the remains of cats and monkeys still wearing collars stringed with shell, glass, and stone beads, a new study found. Unlike some mummified animals that were interred at other sites, sometimes through starvation or snapped neck, none of these creatures in this cemetery located on the outskirts of the Red Sea port of Berenice, showed signs that they had died at the hands of people. Neanderthal remains believed to belong to some of the last survivors of the species in Europe are thousands of years older than once thought, according to a new study. Experts from Belgium, England, and Germany suspected that the age of previously analyzed specimens could be unreliable due to contamination. Using a process known as liquid chromatography separation, experts extracted a single amino acid from the Neanderthal remains. The experts said that contamination of the remains meant that they had been dated as incorrectly young by up to 10,000 years.
The Antikythera mechanism is a highly sophisticated astronomical calculator that dates back more than 2,000 years. Since its recovery from the shipwreck in 1901, generations of researchers have marveled over its stunning complexity and has become known as the world's first known analog computer. A new digital model has revealed a complex planetarium on the ancient device's face. The new work reveals a spectacular rendering of the complete mechanism, which comes closer to fitting all the bizarre pieces of the puzzle together than any previous model. About 8,500 years ago, hunter-gatherers living beside Eagle Lake in Wisconsin hammered out a conical 10-centimeter-long projectile point made of pure copper. A new study of that artifact and other traces of prehistoric mining concludes that what is known as the old copper culture emerged, then mysteriously faded, far earlier than once thought. The dates show that early Native Americans were among the first people in the world to mine metal and fashion it into tools. They also suggest a regional climate shift might help explain why, after thousands of years, the pioneering metallurgists abruptly stopped making most copper tools and largely returned to stone and bone implements. The Shagir idol is a wooden statue with a number of mask-like faces that was preserved for millennia in the acidic, antimicrobial environment of Shakir peat bog in the Ural Mountains in Russia. According to a new study, the statue seems to be even older than we thought. The wood used in the sculpture appears to be around 12,250 years old. Since the Shagir idol was made from the trunk of a larch tree with 159 growth rings, this suggests that the statue itself was carved around 12,100 years ago, around 500 years earlier than a 2018 analysis showed. A gigantic 5,000-year-old complex of long barrows and stone-lined tombs has been unearthed in Poland after archaeologists investigated lines and crops in a field that they had seen in a satellite photograph. The archaeologists think it consists of a dozen barrow mounds, each between 130 feet and 160 feet long, made from earthworks, stones, and palisades of wooden poles that have now rotted away. They think it's a relic of the prehistoric settlement of the area by the Neolithic Funnel Breaker people, who are named after the distinctive pottery vessels they made and are thought to have been the first farmers in Europe. The extinct human lineage, nicknamed the Hobbit, may not be a distant relative of modern humans as previously thought. Instead, Hobbits may be members of the mysterious close relatives of modern humans known as the Denisovans and may have interbred with ancestors of modern humans on the islands of Southeast Asia, researchers say. The research suggests that either the Hobbit or its smaller cousin or both may actually be southern Denisovans. Space scientists have discovered extraterrestrial particles which point to a medium-sized asteroid impact in Antarctica 430,000 years ago. The particles, known as condensation spherules, point to an unusual touchdown event where an asteroid at least 100 meters in diameter hit the ice at a high speed 430,000 years ago. This caused an explosion that unleashed a jet of melted and vaporized meteoric material which scattered and settled over the Antarctic ice sheet. Paleolithic cuisine was anything but lean and green, according to a recent study on the diets of our Pleistocene ancestors. For a good two million years, Homo sapiens ditched the salad and dined heavily on meat, putting them at the top of the food chain. A look through hundreds of previous studies on everything from modern human anatomy and physiology to measures of the isotopes inside ancient human bones and teeth suggests we were primarily apex predators until roughly 12,000 years ago.
Analysis of DNA found in human fossils from around 45,000 years ago suggests that interbreeding with Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, who were on the fast track to extinction, occurred more commonly than has often been assumed, two new studies suggest. Genetic evidence in the new reports indicates for the first time that distinct human populations reached Europe shortly after 50,000 years ago. Neanderthals interbred with all the groups detected so far, ensuring that some of their genes live on today in our DNA. Archaeologists in France have uncovered a stone with 4,000-year-old etchings that they believe may be the oldest three-dimensional map in Europe. The engravings on the broken stone appear to resemble topographical features including hills and a river network. More modern geolocalization techniques suggest that 2.2 meter by 1.53 meter stone known as the St. Bellic Slab, first discovered in 1900 but then lost, show an area of western Brittany. It is believed to date from the early Bronze Age between 2150 BC and 1600 BC. Ever since the Dead Sea Scrolls were accidentally discovered over 70 years ago in a cave in Israel, they have been a source of fascination. In a new study, researchers have put together a robust investigation into the paleography, the study of old handwriting, of one of the scrolls. Through a series of painstaking processes, including digitization, machine reading, and statistical analysis, the team proposed that two scribes with very similar handwriting probably wrote the two halves of the manuscript. Archaeologists have found the oldest home in hominin history. Unsurprisingly, it is a cave, Wonderwork Cave in the Kalahari Desert. Astonishingly, it has been occupied more or less continuously for two million years. Through most of that time, modern humans didn't even exist. Archaeologists have found evidence that archaic humans lived inside the cave around two million years ago, the earliest ever use of fire at a million years, and earliest hand axes at over a million years. Earth's continents have been leaking nutrients into the ocean for at least 3.7 billion years, new research suggests. A team of scientists has devised a new way to date ancient chunks of crust, and according to their latest research, we've misjudged the age of the continents by half a billion years. The team showed that by analyzing a mineral called barite, a combination of ocean salts and barium released by volcanic ocean vents, that Earth's continental crust was around at least 3.7 billion years ago. Thousands of monumental structures built from walls of rock in Saudi Arabia are older than Egypt's pyramids and the ancient stone circles of Britain, researchers say, making them perhaps the earliest ritual landscape ever identified. The new study shows that the mysterious structures dotted around the desert in northwestern Saudi Arabia, called mustadals from the Arabic word for rectangle, are about 7,000 years old. Some of the ancient structures are more than 1,500 feet long, but comparatively narrow, and they're often clustered together. They're usually built on bedrock, often on rocky outcrops above the desert, but also in mountains and in relatively low-lying areas. Researchers have discovered the world's first known pregnant mummy, dating from the first century in Egypt. The find was unexpected as inscriptions on the mummy's coffin suggested the remains inside belonged to a male priest, according to a new study. The mummy turned out to be the remains of a female who died when she was between 20 and 30 years old and about 6.5 to 7.5 months pregnant, based on the circumference of the fetus's head. Archaeologists have identified the oldest known human burial in Africa during fieldwork that uncovered the remains of a child laid carefully to rest in a grave nearly 80,000 years ago. 
The arrangement of the bones shows the three-year-old was placed with legs tucked to chest and perhaps wrapped in a shroud with their head on a pillow before being gently covered in soil. Researchers discovered the bones while excavating the floor beneath a sheltered overhang at the mouth of a cave in the tropical uplands of Kenya's coastal plain about 10 miles from the shore. Scientists have discovered a rare evolutionary missing link dating to the earliest chapter of life on Earth. It's a microscopic, ball-shaped fossil that bridges the gap between the very first living creatures, single-celled organisms, and more complex multicellular life. The spherical fossil contains two different types of cells, round, tightly packed cells with very thin walls at the center of the ball and a surrounding outer layer of sausage-shaped cells with thicker walls. Estimated to be one billion years old, this is the oldest known fossil of a multicellular organism. A new study has shown for the first time that humans recognize the intended meanings of iconic vocalizations, basic sounds made by people to represent specific objects, entities, and actions, regardless of the language they speak. These vocalizations, such as the imitation of snoring to denote sleep or roaring to denote a tiger, could have played a crucial role in the development of the first human languages, according to the researchers. The finding contrasts with the prior assumption that physical gestures and signals drove the development of human language. Hidden in the vast, arid expanses of India's tar desert lie mysterious old drawings carved into the land. These newly discovered designs are of such immense scale, they were likely never able to be glimpsed in their entirety by those who made them, researchers say. The huge motifs are examples of geoglyphs, giant handmade depictions and patterns built upon or carved into the land, often occupying such scope that the true appearance of their forms can only be appreciated from far above. A burial mound in northern Syria has been identified by researchers as perhaps the world's oldest known war memorial. The site, known as the White Mountain, in the town of Talbanat, had previously been thought to be an ancient mass grave of enemy fighters. However, a new report suggests it was a memorial for the community's battle dead from the 3rd millennium B.C. Such a find is thought to mark the first known organized memorial to war anywhere in the world. The Coxcatlan Cave in Mexico's Tihuacan Valley has recently yielded results hinting at a human presence in the area as far back as 33,000 years ago, thousands of years before ice sheets stretched to their peak and around 20,000 years earlier than currently accepted evidence suggests. The results of this study are bound to fuel the ongoing debate over the timeline of human migration into the heart of the Americas. When we think of Antarctic exploration, the narrative is overwhelmingly white. The first confirmed sighting of mainland Antarctica was contributed to a Russian expedition in 1820, while the first landing on the mainland is attributed to an American explorer in 1821. A new paper by New Zealander researchers suggests that the indigenous people of mainland New Zealand, the Maori, have a significantly longer history with Earth's southernmost continent and originated in the early 7th century AD. Archaeologists recently discovered Israel's oldest seal impression, a device that stamps a pattern onto soft material such as clay or wax in order to seal an object. The tiny clay impression dates back 7,000 years and was likely used to seal and sign deliveries as well as to keep storerooms closed, according to a new study. After conducting a thorough analysis, archaeologists identified this object as the oldest seal impression known in the region. Prior to the discovery, older seals dating back 8,500 years had been found in the region, but seal impressions had not.
An underwater archaeologist from the University of Texas at Arlington is part of a research team studying 9,000-year-old stone tool artifacts discovered in Lake Huron that originated from an obsidian quarry more than 2,000 miles away in central Oregon. The obsidian flakes from the underwater archaeological site represent the oldest and farthest east confirmed specimens of western obsidian ever found in the continental United States. The find in Lake Huron is part of a broader study to understand the social and economic organization of caribou hunters at the end of the last ice age. Scientists have identified a new contender for patient zero in the plague that caused the Black Death. A man who died more than 5,000 years ago in Latvia was infected with the earliest known strain of the disease according to new evidence. The man was buried with three others at a Neolithic burial site in Latvia by the side of the river Salak, which flows into the Baltic Sea. He most likely was bitten by a rodent, got the primary infection of Yersinia pestis, and died a few days later from septic shock. Scientists at the University of Southampton have discovered that changes in Earth's orbit may have allowed complex life to emerge and thrive during the most hostile climate episode the planet has ever experienced. The researchers studied a succession of rocks laid down when most of Earth's surface was covered in ice during a severe glaciation dubbed Snowball Earth that lasted over 50 million years. They concluded that changes in Earth's orbit allowed the waxing and waning of ice sheets, enabling periodic ice-free regions to develop on Snowball Earth. Researchers have found evidence of the oldest known use of cosmetics at a dig site in the Balkans. Close inspection of over a dozen of the bottles revealed traces of cerocyte which is sometimes known as white lead or carbonite. The researchers also note that many of the tiny bottles were found with long, thin stone tools nearby, possibly extraction devices. The team also found small bits of animal fat, beeswax, and plant oils in the bottles, all signs of materials meant for application on the skin. The bottles have been dated back to a time between 4350 and 4100 BC making them by far the oldest known evidence of cosmetic use in Europe. Scientists have taken another step towards solving an enduring mystery with a new tool that may allow for more precise comparisons between the DNA of modern humans and that of our extinct ancestors. The research draws upon DNA extracted from fossil remains of now extinct Neanderthals and Denisovans dating back to around 40,000 or 50,000 years ago, as well as from 279 modern from around the world. Just 7% of our genome is uniquely shared with other humans, and not shared by early ancestors, according to the study published in the journal Science Advances. In a strange turn of events, researchers in Mexico have announced they plan to rebury an unusual archaeological monument found in the outskirts of Mexico City, covering up an important historical discovery until some time unknown in the future. The discovery in question is a tunnel built centuries ago as part of a flood control system of dikes and waterways constructed to protect the historical city of Tenochtitlan from rising waters. The discovery was intended to be made into a public exhibit so that people could visit and inspect this unusual, centuries-old fusion of Aztec and Spanish cultural elements, but unfortunately, it's not to be. Researchers exploring the Indian Ocean have discovered the remains of a collapsed underwater volcano with an uncanny resemblance to the all-seeing Eye of Sauron as well as two other seafloor structures named after places in Tolkien's Middle Earth. The eye is actually an oval-shaped depression measuring 3.9 miles long by 3 miles wide. 
Called a caldera, the giant divot is left over from the ancient collapse of a deep sea volcano. The caldera is surrounded by a 984 foot tall rim, giving the impression of eyelids, and an equally tall cone shaped peak at the center, which looks like a pupil. The structure is located 174 miles southeast of Christmas Island. Iceland may be the last exposed remnant of a nearly Texas-sized continent called Icelandia that sank beneath the North Atlantic Ocean about 10 million years ago, according to a new theory proposed by an international team of geophysicists and geologists. The theory goes against long-standing ideas about the formation of Iceland and the North Atlantic, but the researchers say the theory explains both the geological features of the ocean floor and why Earth's crust beneath Iceland is so much thicker than it should be. With a 7-meter wingspan and a mouth bristling with fangs, a newly discovered pterosaur would have ruled the skies over Australia's northeast around 110 million years ago. According to the team's reconstruction, the skull would have been around 3.3 feet with around 40 teeth. The beast would have flown above the inland Iramanga Sea, using its long, powerful jaw to pluck fish from the water. Pterosaur remains in Australia are extremely rare. Like today's birds, their bones, optimized for flight, were hollow and brittle, and thus very few have survived to present day. Machu Picchu, the famous 15th century Inca site in southern Peru, is up to several decades older than previously thought, according to a new study. Researchers used accelerator mass spectrometry, an advanced form of radiocarbon dating, to date human remains recovered during the early 20th century at the monumental complex. Their findings reveal that Machu Picchu was in the use from about 1420 AD to 1530 AD ending around the time of the Spanish conquest, making the site at least 20 years older than the accepted historical records suggest and raising questions about our understanding of Inca chronology. A team of researchers has found evidence of what appears to be the oldest coin minting operation ever uncovered. Up until now, researchers have believed that the use of coins as a form of currency was first developed in Greece or Turkey. Items found by the researchers included multiple bronze, spade-shaped coins, and the clay molds that were used to make them. Testing of the ashes left by the fires used to melt the metal showed them to be approximately 2,600 years old, which would mean the facility was used to make coins as recently as 550 B.C., and as long ago as 640 BC, making it the oldest known coin-making facility ever discovered. Archaeologists have discovered the origins of Arthur's Stone, one of the UK's most famous Stone Age monuments. Dating to the Neolithic period in 3700 BC, Arthur's Stone is located on a lonely hilltop outside of the village of Dorstone facing the Black Mountains in South Wales. They found that the tomb had first been a long mound composed of stacked turf retained by a palisade of upright posts. However, when the posts rotted away and the mound had collapsed, an avenue of larger posts were added, leading toward the mound from the Golden Valley below. The skeleton of an ancient woman discovered in an Indonesian cave in 2015 appears to have ancestry unlike any other human found to date. The roughly 7,200-year-old human belonged to a culture of hunter-gatherers known as Tolians, thought to have been related to the earliest settlers of Indonesia. Up to 65,000 years ago, during the last Ice Age, the ancestors of the Tolians probably arrived via sea from mainland Asia. While the Tolian culture never seemed to make it past the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, it seems their relatives continued to push onward. 
The ancient skull has now provided the first human DNA ever discovered in Wallacea, the ancient island region that once provided a gateway to New Guinea and Australia. Archaeologists have discovered some of the oldest artifacts ever found to be associated with beer in southern China dating back 9,000 years. The find consisted of two human skeletons surrounded by scores of ceramic pots, actually some of the earliest painted pottery ever found, in what appears to be a burial mound in a non-residential area. Through a residue analysis of the pots, results revealed that the vessels were used to hold beer. This ancient beer, though, would not have been like the IPA that we have today. Instead, it was likely a slightly fermented and sweet beverage, which was probably cloudy in color. The Native Americans who occupied the area known as Poverty Point in northern Louisiana more than 3,000 years ago long have been believed to be simple hunters and gatherers. But new archaeological findings paint a drastically different picture of America's first civilization. These early indigenous people were highly skilled engineers capable of building massive earthen structures in a matter of months, possibly even weeks, that withstood the test of times. The Poverty Point World Heritage Site consists of a massive 72-foot-tall earthen mound and concentric half-circle ridges. The structures were constructed by hunter-gatherers approximately 3,400 years ago from nearly 2 million cubic yards of soil. Amazingly, this was done without the luxury of modern tools, domesticated animals, or even wheeled carts. Researchers have rewritten Japanese history after uncovering a third and previously unknown group of ancestors that migrated to Japan around 2,000 years ago. Previous research had suggested the two main genetic origins of modern-day Japanese populations were the original hunter-gatherers who lived during the Jomon period and the farmers who migrated to Japan during the Yeo period. Now an analysis of the DNA found in ancient bones has revealed a third genetic origin during the Kofun period when a group of previously unknown ancestors migrated to Japan. In the 12th century, Chinese and Japanese astronomers spotted a new light in the sky shining as brightly as Saturn. They identified it as a powerful stellar explosion known as a supernova and marked its approximate location in the sky, but its cause remained a mystery. Now astronomers say they have solved the 840-year-old puzzle. Two extremely dense stars collided in the Milky Way and caused a supernova that resulted in the formation of a sizzling hot star known as Parker's star and a nebula called PA30. This supernova, or the so-called Chinese guest star of 1181 AD, which remained visible from August 6 to February 6 of that year, is only one of nine historically recorded supernovas in our galaxy. New research makes the intriguing suggestion that the Polynesians who erected those mysterious stone figures on islands thousands of miles apart were actually descended from the same group of explorers. Researchers track Polynesian ancestry by gathering genome-wide data from 430 modern individuals in 21 key Pacific Island populations from Samoa to Easter Island. Then they used computational analysis on these large numbers of modern genomes to track genetic variants down through the generations. Most rare genetic variants found in each settled island's population weren't carried by any of the individuals who made trips to future islands and thus don't appear in the genome of the new island's population. Scientists can track the loss of these variants. And occasionally, a few rare variations did move along to each new island by chance with an individual in that small founding population. Once on the new island, those previously rare variants were soon acquired by all descendants of the small founding population and became extremely common providing another genetic marker.
New scientific research conducted by archaeologists have uncovered what they believe are the oldest known human footprints in North America. The footprints were discovered at the White Sands National Park in New Mexico and are estimated between 21,000 and 23,000 years old. Researchers also determined that the dozen footprints found belong to a variety of people, mostly children and teenagers. Previously, scientists had widely assumed that the earliest appearance of humans in the Americas was 11,000 to 13,000 years ago because of stone spears found throughout North America and associated with what is known as the Clovis culture. Ancient cut marks on mammoth bones unearthed on a remote island in the frozen extreme of Siberia are the northernmost evidence of Paleolithic humans ever found, according to archaeologists. The bones from the woolly mammoth skeleton dated to about 26,000 years ago and were excavated this summer by a Russian expedition in the far northeast of Siberia. The team pieced together more than two-thirds of the skeleton, and they found cut marks and notches made by stone or bone tools on almost every bone. That indicates the animal was deliberately butchered, probably after it was hunted down by a nomadic band of Stone Age hunters. According to researchers, the oldest known footprints of pre-humans were found on the Mediterranean island of Crete and are at least 6 million years old. The footprints from fossilized beach sediments were found near the West Cretan village of Trachylos. Using geophysical and micropaleontological methods, researchers have now dated them to 6.05 million years before the present day, making them the oldest direct evidence of a human-like foot used for walking. The dating of the Cretan footprints therefore sheds new light on the early evolution of human perambulation. Exactly how and when people settled in North America is a topic of much fascination for experts, and now a new analysis of ancient documents is shedding light on some lesser-known details of this long-contested timeline. A document written by Galvanius Flamma, dated to around 1345, has been found to contain what looks like a reference to the Atlantic coast of North America suggesting Italian sailors were already aware of the continent some 150 years before Christopher Columbus set sail for it. Galvanius writes about a land called Mark Calata, west of Greenland, which matches up with the Markland region mentioned by several Icelandic sources. It's most probably referring to modern-day Labrador or Newfoundland. We know that true polar wander, or TPW, can occasionally tilt whole planets and moons relative to their axes, but it's not entirely clear just how often this has happened to Earth. Now a new study presents evidence of one such tilting event that occurred around 84 million years ago when dinosaurs still walked the Earth. According to the study, there was around a 12-degree tilt on Earth around 84 million years ago, which was corrected relatively quickly within about 5 million years, the equivalent of a cosmic yo-yo in the words of the researchers. A new study of ancient population centers in western Guatemala and southern Mexico reveals 478 separate complexes many of which seem to be based on a prototype city built around 1400 B.C. Many of these complexes have never been discovered, surveyed, or excavated until now. But their shapes suggest many were oriented with the sunrise on certain important days and seem to use the number 20, which was the basis of later written calendars. The species lived in Africa about 500,000 years ago during the Middle Pleistocene Age and was the direct ancestor of modern humans, according to scientists. The name, Bodoensis, derives from a skull found in Bododar in the Awash River Valley of Ethiopia. Under the new classification, Homo bodoensis will describe the majority of Middle Pleistocene humans from Africa and some from Southeast Europe while many from the latter continent will be reclassified as Neanderthals. 
Within the same discipline of academia, some paleoanthropologists have described this period as the muddle in the middle because human evolution during this age is poorly understood. Archaeologists have discovered a wooden Maya canoe in southern Mexico believed to be over 1,000 years old. Measuring over 5 feet, it was found almost completely intact, submerged in a freshwater pool near the ruined Maya city of Chichen Itza. Mexico's Antiquities Institute says it may have been used to extract water or deposit ritual offerings. The rare find came during construction work on a new tourist railway known as the Maya Train. Earth's first continents, known as the Cratons, emerged from the ocean between 3.3 and 3.2 billion years ago, a new study hints. This pushes back previous estimates of when the Cratons first rose from the water, as various studies suggested that large-scale Craton emergence took place roughly 2.5 billion years ago. To date the rocks, the team examined them for tiny crystals called zircons, which contained the radioactive element uranium. After collecting the zircons, the team zapped the crystals with a laser to reveal their chemical composition using a technique called mass spectrometry. Uranium decays to lead at a fixed rate, so by examining the ratio of uranium to lead in each sample, the team could determine the age of the rocks. A new study by an international team reports the discovery of an ivory pendant decorated with a pattern of at least 50 punctures, creating an irregular looping curve. The direct radiocarbon date of the ornament yields an age of 41,500 years. This result indicates that the jewelry is the oldest decorative ornament known to date in Eurasia, predating other instances of this type of decoration activity by 2,000 years. This finding broadens our current knowledge on the timing of the appearance of decorative objects by Homo sapiens in Eurasia. Remains found inside an underground structure were tied up by ropes and with the hands covering the face. The mummified remains were of a person from the culture that developed between the coast and mountains of the South American country. The mummy, whose gender was not identified, was discovered in the Lima region. In the tomb were also offerings including ceramics, vegetable remains, and stone tools. Radiocarbon dating is currently being conducted to determine a more precise chronology. A staggering 3.7 million years ago, an unknown species walked on two legs across a blanket of volcanic ash in what's now northern Tanzania. These steps, immortalized by the volcanic ash gradually turning into rock, were unearthed back in 1978 and mistakenly dismissed as being bear-like. However, a new analysis suggests the prints were from an unknown species of bipedal primate that clearly differed from the tracks left by another hominin species nearby. The Faroe Islands, an archipelago between Norway and Iceland, were once believed to have been settled by Viking explorers in the mid-9th century CE. Thanks to new analysis of ancient sheep DNA, the remote North Atlantic Islands are now shown to have been inhabited by British island shepherds centuries before the Vikings arrived. Using sedimentary DNA and molecular biomarkers, researchers were able to establish more firmly when the presence of humans first started on the islands, and it was at least 300 years earlier than previously thought. A discovery by Spanish scientists promises to have solved a long-standing archaeological mystery. Researchers claim to have uncovered the possible location of the lost Hercules of Cadiz Temple, a building thought lost for centuries. Using the latest radar technology and aerial photographs, researchers located traces of a large Roman and Phoenician building in the Spanish town of Sacti Petri close to Cadiz, thought to be the prized temple of Hercules.
In a new study published on December 21st, scientists confirmed that a fossil discovered in 2018 is that of a massive millipede, as big as a car, measuring nearly nine feet long. A roughly 29.5 inch piece of the giant invertebrate was discovered in a block of sandstone next to a coastal cliff in northern England's Northumberland Beach in January 2018. The fossil is only the third such fossil ever discovered and, according to researchers, is the largest and oldest. The creature dates back about 326 million years more than 100 million years before dinosaurs.